हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आई होप यू आर फाइन एंजॉइंग योर स्टडीज सो लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम नॉन होमोजीनियस पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कांस्टेंट कोफिशिएंट्स सो हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू फैमिलियर फॉर्म सो व्हाट इज योर आर आर इज योर डेल 2z by del x square s is your del 2z by del x del y uh, t is your del 2z by del y square p is your del z by del x q is your del z by del y and z equals to z as you can see because first three terms are of degree 2 but next two term are of degree 1 that's why it is non homogeneous because degree of each term is not the same fine Now, how can we write this? Uh, if we uh, write del by del x as capital D and del by del y as d dash, so we can write this as d square plus two d d dash. third term is d dash square then we have 2d 2d dash plus 1 and z equals to 0 this is a good form now this is not in terms of factors so first we have to make factors from this then we will compare to d minus md dash minus a from there find the value of a and m then write the complementary function okay so how can we do this look at the terms which i am showing you this term this term and this term what will they make a square plus 2ab plus b square so they are making d plus d dash whole square from the next two term i am taking two common so d plus d dash i am writing the last one as 1 square now again it's interesting thing. because if you imagine this as a this as b and this as 2ab so this is a square this is b square this is 2a again you can write this as d plus d dash this is a plus b is 1 it's whole square now whole square can also be written as two distinct term this operating on z equals to z why i have written two uh, not as square but as a product to show you that uh, you are going to get if you compare this with d minus m d dash minus a so you are going to get in each case m as minus 1 because you will compare the coefficient of d dash in both the case so you are going to get m as minus 1 and a as minus 1 as well so my complementary function will be e power ax so e power minus x f1 y plus m x 
because they are same they are repeating so y m1 and m2 will both be equal to minus 1 so y minus x because they are repeating so in second i will multiply by x again e power ax so e power minus x f1 y minus x because rhs is zero so my particular integral will be zero in this case so finally i will write z as cf plus pi so z will be equal to e power minus x f1 y minus x plus x times e power minus x f1 y minus x that's it so again from r s and t form to del form and from del to d form after you got that it was clear that you will first factorize this and then compare to d minus m d dash minus a and then you will write your complementary function because you know that is of the form e power x f1 y plus m1 x e power a1 x f1 y plus m1 x plus e power a2 x f2 f2 will be there f2 y plus m2 x because second was my repeating i multiplied that by x okay so it was a uh, simple just factorization uh, portion was important that's it from my side do watch my playlist uh, of partial differential equation for more such videos